Hey all, Mac here. Today I want to give you guys a streamlined farming method to target farm crystallization catalysts and energy activator blueprints. This method is going to focus on a faster mission as well as a colossus, specifically Hardmo Devourer, the guy that everybody likes to bully by killing in sub 20 seconds. Now, I'd say the best way to actually farm catalysts and activators is going to be by target farming something else that you need and you'll get these just on the side. However, if you really need activators or catalysts, this method is probably gonna be the fastest way to acquire them. All right, so we're gonna to wanna to teleport to Vespers in the Lost Supply Depot. We're gonna be teleporting to this bottom outpost, and the mission we are running is gonna be called Sepulcher. The nice thing about this mission is it is pretty damn fast, and you only really have one slow part, which is a drone escort. You can do this on any character. I still recommend Bunny, but you can do this on a character that is able to clear and take a little bit of damage. That is all. All right, so for this mission, you need to be on hard mode, and depending on what you want to farm, whether it's crystallization catalysts or energy activators, swap this as needed. You can actually get Ultimate Glaze Stabilizer Blueprint from the crystallization catalyst version, so do keep that in mind. We are going to be going for the 38.7k, and as such, we want to roll for around 220%. Do not run no sprint unless you are not playing Bunny, in which case that mod is fine. Do not run jump and grapple together. In the first area, make sure if you run no grapple that you do not kill the mobs at the very top platform. That's about it, and I will do a run as demonstration, and see you guys at the end. Once you've killed the elite here, try to run to this wall, and there's going to be a lot of mobs that spawn sort of through that hallway. To get a little bit of extra percentage, you can sort of stand here while you're, before your drone despawns and kill them with your AoE.
So as you can see, we had already reached the score that we needed before we got to this boss, uh, or at least during the boss, but if you do not reach the score, do keep in mind he also provides score himself. The score that he provides is going to be around 1200, uh, so be sure to match your score to fill out the 38.7k requirement. This mission took a total of 5 minutes and 7 seconds. Next, strap on your best boss killer and go and kill Hard Mode Devourer. And there you have it. I'd say around every six minutes you get to crack open one of these amorphous materials and thus get a 20% chance to receive a crystallization catalyst. Now, for fun, why not open one of these? There you go. And that is going to be all. I hope you guys found this helpful. Again, if you want to farm these, truthfully, I would just farm whatever else that you need, for instance, a Descendant or a Weapon, and you'll just get these as a byproduct of farming. However, if you really need them really fast and you want to target farm them, I believe this is the most efficient method to do so. Till next time, ciao.